Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and this is my review of the Cartoon Texture Pack for Minecraft Xbox 60, which just came out today, although it will be coming out for Minecraft PS3, PS4, and Xbox One in the near future. And uh, this is a texture pack which, when it was announced, I didn't think, oh, that's a little excessive, it's another texture pack we don't need. I thought this is an opportunity to do something really great and get a cartoony texture pack, uh, which, unlike the plastic texture pack, just feels really, really nice, uh, you know, to play with, and I think this has uh, achieved that goal just perfectly. So the way I'm going to review this is the same format as all my other reviews, uh, it's going to be talking First of all, just about the general stuff, the UI, the chests, etc. Uh, and then we'll be talking about the three main parts of any uh, survival world. That is above ground, so, uh, you know, above ground, the terrain, the biomes, and builds and stuff. Uh, the never, and then below ground. So, these are the three main parts, and yeah, let's do it. So, first of all, the first thing you'll notice with the text pack is, uh, one, everything has a lot of shadows and really nice shading are done to it, so... If you look at doors, you look at water and stuff, it's all just the same kind of feel as that you'd usually get, but with really no shits, and that's what I really like. And uh, the UI is a definite helper of that, because it's, it's uh, it, if you notice, everything, the menu, uh, your inventory, it's all curved very nicely, in a way that just makes it feel that next bit nicer. So I'll show you a chest too now. Uh, they've, they've just all got curved edges in a way that's just, it, it's really nice in my opinion, and the colour scheme su uh, suits the cartoony, you know, aesthetic it has just perfectly in my opinion, and that's really great. So... As far as uh, the actual UI goes, uh, including this little uh, hand, which I think is a great way to move your inventory, it's a really, really great text pack as far as that is concerned. So, next up, let's talk about the overground then. So, um, basically, um, also, by the way, just in the inventory, you'll notice that my, my big complaint of this is the fact that everything doesn't, you know, it's hard to tell what's what. Because uh, every single tool, I'll go to a craft bench actually to quickly show this one, uh, every single tool is actually entirely different. So wooden pickaxe, uh, wooden shovel, wooden axe, wooden hoe. And then you look at stone hoe, stone axe, stone shovel. Everything's just really weird and wild card. The gold ones are the weirdest I've noticed. And although that's, you know, kind of cool in some circumstances, it makes this text pack kind of impractical for PvP and stuff like that. Uh, I'll throw that one out there now. This is definitely a texture pack for playing around uh, creative and stuff more than it is for a serious survival and uh, pvp stuff which is you know kind of disappointing but let's go more into the other stuff before we talk about that some more so uh first of all you notice the mobs uh, with the exception of uh, like the uh, pigs perhaps everything looks really really great and changed and i really like the way they added faces onto everything which makes them all look either shocked or really happy um so uh, all of the hostile mobs look really happy besides the creeper and all of the uh, non-hostile mobs besides the pig look really uh, unhappy and oh sorry including the pig look really unhappy and it's a really really nice uh, mishmash of a regular you know texture pack where everyone's just uh, the way they usually are uh this is a texture pack that changes the mobs in a really cool way even if it's a small change it's something i really like so next up uh let's just quickly talk about the uh water and lava texture so uh, I, I said this about a texture pack a few texture packs ago, but this is the best um, lava and water we've had so far. Because if you look at this uh, water, I'll just show you it for a few seconds, um, it's just a really mesmerizing animation. If you look at it, even like from up close, it looks amazing. And even from a distance, it gives that real cartoony feel. And it's just really nice feeling water that I'm just a really, really big fan of. So they definitely got those animations just spot on, and uh, I'm a really big fan of that one. So. Next up, let's just talk about builds for a little bit. Uh, so everything is as you'd expect. Uh, everything, you know, looks generally the same as it usually should, except stone, which is this weird kind of grey-blue colour. Uh, but everything else looks this way it should do. The one graph gl graphical glitch I have noticed is actually uh, iron bars. They kind of don't always line up for some reason somewhere. But everything else looks just fine. In fact, just a little bit better than normal, which is something uh, I'm a really big fan of. I don't like having to build new things for a texture pack, like the city texture pack. I like that everything I have just kind of carries over just perfectly, like, this picks lava two swords uh it's i'm a really big fan of that so just to quickly show you some uh tools like here um again to show you just a wooden sword i think stone sword and then i i don't understand well the swords have to be weird things but that's just how it is so yeah that's that and uh next let's show you the never next so as you can see, everything, all your builds will transfer over just fine, and they'll have this really nice uh, cartoon kind of shading aesthetic to it. Look at, like, look at this, uh, this block right here. It's just, it's really nicely done. I'm a big fan. Uh, so the Never is another strong part of this text pack. Uh, in fact, I, I, I'm, I, I, I have problems trying to find weak points in this text pack because, for the most part, it's all really, really well done. So. That's something I definitely like. Also, look at those tree, um, the tree textures. That's something I've really been a fan of, even since the images from yesterday. Uh, it's just a really great looking texture pack so far. But yeah, so um, here is the Never now. So as you can see, I'm a really big fan of what they've done on the Never too, because they've changed it so that besides the Never rack, most things are either blue, kind of yellowy, like they're really bright colours, which gives this really cool juxtaposition of a regular Never, like you know Never mobs and stuff, but mixed. Also, look at the ghast over in the distance, but mixed with this really cool kind of cyan-y blue. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's 
it's a brand new colorful building, and it's really great because you don't usually use Nebrick anyway. Uh, it essentially gives you a lot more building options in survival without entirely ruining the texture pack. And that's, I, I'm impressed with the way they've done that. I'm very happy with the way, uh, you know, the Nevers turned out, and that's just uh, head over to the other side of the world now. Also, Soul Sand is this bright blue. Again, giving you more blues to play with, which is always fun. Uh, so yeah, let's head over to the other side of the world through my long series of tunnels. So as I said, this is from my Let's Play world. Uh, it's what I use for my text packs, so you can watch all of them in a row if you want to and get a feel of which one you want to buy the most, uh, rather than using different things, because different text packs have different uh, strong suits, but this is just a regular survival world, which, or not a regular one, but a, a pretty regular kind of survival world. Uh, it's weird that for my Let's Play world I have to give that many qualifications, but um, that's, you know, what it's meant for, because obviously uh, lots of text packs have different uh, uses and different scenarios, but also, we have to go up this uh, hill just here, don't worry about it. Uh, but lots of text packs have different uses and different scenarios, and I want to just show it for survival. So, if I try and list this uh, text pack suit, by the, uh, strong suits, by the way, it'd probably have to be uh, survival, but where you're not taking it entire, entirely seriously. So, if you're doing something crazy in survival, like, you know, having a competitive ultra hardcore with your friends, uh, it's perhaps not the best because. You know, it, it takes you a second to work out, oh, this is a diamond sword, uh, even though it's a shark, or it takes you a while to work out with these long sticks I've got, uh, you know, diamond pickaxes. But besides that, everything is just the way it should be, so you won't get confused too much, which is a problem I have with some texture packs. Uh, this has been a long lead in the nether. Um, and yeah, that's that's something which is kind of a plus, kind of a negative. Uh, it's not... Uh, it's it, Really, the way I've uh, put this yesterday is it is to the... Um, the plastic texture pack, what the uh, fancy texture pack was, the natural texture pack. Uh, so let's just definitely go down here. And here's what the underground looks like. So this is definitely what, another weak point in the texture pack because this really ugly stone color, which I know was just meant to make it so that you know everything looks a little bit different, but the ugly stone texture mixed with the dirt, it just makes everything look really weird and ugly. Uh, if you want to do a lot of branch mining because you want to get diamonds legit for in, using this, then Honestly, this is probably not the text pack for you. It's very dull to go mining with. Uh, the ores are kind of pretty, and I, I like them a bit. But for the most part, the text pack is just... I, I, I don't like it underground at all. Like, uh, I like that they've changed gravel, and I... That's yeah, kind of cool, and I like that stone's been changed, but the way it all mixes, it's just really ugly in this way that I'm just not a fan of in any way. So, uh, I'll show you a few branch mines, and... Uh, I'll mine for a tiny bit uh, in one direction, perhaps. In fact, let's just quickly go down here, because we need to press torch anyway. And you can see it's just dull going down the branch mine, which I know it's admittedly true in any texture pack, but it's, you know, the same point that it just it just doesn't feel great for mining. It's it's not something I think this texture pack is built for. So, um, what do I think this texture pack is built for? As I said, um, a non-serious survival. Uh, I think it has some uses in creative, but I don't think it's the perfect texture pack for creative, because uh, it makes builds look that next bit better, but you can still just make them in uh, the... Uh, regular text pack and then just use the trial of this and look around them in the cartoon text pack and I'm sure that will fill your needs for building the cartoon text pack just as much as it will uh, you know actually buying it separately so that's you know something that's worth saying um, it's definitely one of the best text packs they've released so far if I had to rate it it'd probably be in my you know top five maybe even the top three uh, the fancy text pack is still my favorite but this is a you know it's a really really nice built text pack um, you just look at everything it's like wow that's a really nice touch like for instance uh, the jukebox I really like the musical note they put on there. Um, another thing I really like is the water textures. Like I, I think it has the best in class for a lot of things, but there are a few things that really just let this down in my opinion. And it's a shame, but it is still a great texture pack regardless. So if you want to download this, this costs just a dollar. Uh, right now, as of recording this video, it's slightly more expensive at five dollars, but they're going to fix that down to uh, one dollar sixty-nine p or something. Uh, so it's a really cheap download. If you're not sure about it, give it the trial of download at the very least. I think this is uh, one of the best texture packs they've released in a while. So there's that to what worth saying. And if you want to see any more texture pack reviews, you can check uh, the link in the description, which will take you to some other ones. So uh, I just fell down my sugarcane farm. Um, this has been a IBX Toy Cat texture pack review. Uh, uh, like it if you have liked it uh, and want to see more when more text packs come out. Other than that, I hope to see you guys tomorrow after this outro, of course. It's a really good outro. I like I like these outros a lot. Uh, so yeah, i see you guys then.
By the way, if you stay around till after the uh, outro music, I'm I'm impressed. I I wonder how many people do. If you did stay around, leave something like Q Q Q, just free Qs in a comment with your whatever comment you also have to leave. Just just throw it out there. So yeah, uh, I'll I'll stop talking now. <laughs>